Hello and welcome to the channel, Mods on PC, how it works. Let's get into it, I'm gonna to try to make this quick, I'm not known for making quick videos. Start up the game on PC, go to Mods. You're gonna be presented with a screen that says join us, the mod.io community. Register your email. That's all you're doing, there's not gonna be a prompt for a password. Put in your email. Okay. Then we're gonna back out. And you're going to be prompted to this website right here, which I'm going to have a link down in the description, because you can go there before you register if you just want to take a look at it. You're going to be brought here. Then you're going to be asked to log in at the top right. Go ahead and log in. Now, you can either choose Steam, your Xbox account, whatever that is, Google or Facebook, or you can register like manually, like without you know, making a link here from another account. But make sure it's the same email. I went ahead and used Google myself then you're in now on the side here you can go by do you want to browse engines names do you want to change physics do you want a, a mod for trailers or transmission i decided to go by what was popular over here right because you can go by what was the most recently added or updated and i went ahead with this just scroll over something that looks good you know be like uh oh hey that uh, 2016 F350, that looks kind of cool. Go ahead and just highlight your mouse over the red thing here and subscribe to it. It's kind of like the Steam Workshop if you've ever used that. When you subscribe, this mod will automatically be installed when you are logged into your mod.io in-game. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about the mod, click on it and not, you know, the subscribe button. You can see a little bit more information. When was it released? Who released it? How many times it was downloaded? What's the size of the mod? Uh, some feedback in the comments and all that kind of stuff. Now we're gonna go back into the game. We're gonna go to mods. You're gonna see that the wheel is spinning. The wheels on the truck go round and round. No? Okay. That was cringy and it was supposed to be. That can actually take a while especially on the size of the mod. For example, to give you some perspective, I think it was this mod? Or was it this one? I can't remember. One of them was only like uh, one or two megabytes. It was super small. Don't ask. Anyhow, just don't worry about that. And that's where you can turn on and off whatever mods you want. Like I have one for responsive steering. That's a separate tutorial on its own because that's not something that you just subscribe to and that's it. But for the most part, for just vehicles, this is what you do, and like I said, it can take a while for this to happen. That it shows that it's installed. So once you go in your game, I'll show you how you now get the vehicles. They're in the store. You have to buy them. But what's really neat is that, so far, every upgrade that could come with said vehicle is ready for you to buy right there. So go ahead in your garage, go to the truck store, and as you can see, I've already purchased them. Sometimes, like this one, it'll have a nice icon, but it'll always tell you with the banner across that it's a mod. These ones just have a generic one. These are all different vehicles, but they all share the same generic default thumbnail. Don't worry about it. It's not a glitch. Now we can take a look at them here, because you'll see the preview here. Like, that's a modified version of the Baja Star 1700. Okay? Like, these, these just look amazing. Like, just wow, you know? So you can go ahead, click on one. You know, you can customize it, like I said. Some of these will have, like, uh, you know, upgrades. But, like I said, you don't have to go into the game world to drive for 17 hours just to unlock a, you know, a suspension kit or something like that. It's generally either given to you for free or you have to buy it. But that's really not a big deal because... On PC, you can uh, essentially just modify your file and get uh, all the money in the rank in the world that you want. So to me, that's pretty cool. Like I said, just go ahead, take a look at whatever uh, this person is offering. You know, sometimes you get uh, fusion. I actually think that looks better. Anyhow, whatever. Just kind of, like I said, look around, see what you like. Sometimes they have rims, sometimes they don't. You know, paint jobs. And then leave the garage. 
And like I said, these are... Holy cow. Wow, that one's... That one's fast. Pretty powerful, too. Now, this one, for example... Now, I'm just ranting now. This, this is pretty much done. This one, I'm not gonna lie, I don't... I don't like the, uh... The windshield, like the first-person view in this one. Because the windshield looks like it's a little bit mucked up. Like it just, it looks like it's dirty. I'm OCD, so that may or may not bother you. But I mean, this really looks like it could be a part of the game. Like, that's just amazing to me. Like, that is pretty wild. I'm so glad that I decided to play around on the, uh, on the PC with the mods. This is another one that I got. This one's much cleaner. See the window? That's what I'm talking about. Like, just... They all sound different, look different, and they just legitimately look like they were implemented by the actual developers of the game. That's how amazing some of these uh, mods are. Anyhow, so that's that. Just wanted to quickly show you that. And that's pretty much it. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I'll put your hand on the ground and I'll run it over with all my vehicles on that thumb until it flips up. Don't ask me what that was. And if you want to subscribe, what are you looking at? And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, whatever it is you identify as. And as always, hopefully I'll see some of you in the next video. Oh, would you simmer down? Bye now.